Hello, this is Robert with Beyond 20. Today we're working in Sherrill version 5.0. We're going to go over how to do a full restore of an export czar that was done in a previous video. We'll also cover any necessary steps that are needed, such as disabling or enabling the automation process server, formerly known as the business process server, as well as any stored values that need to be updated because we moved from production to development. So to get started, let's first launch the ShareWell Server Manager. We want to select the Automation Process Server and click Stop. This step ensures that after we restore the czar to the development server, that any pending automation processes that were waiting to be sent, such as emails that need to go out to the customer on new tickets that were created or anything else like that will not automatically send out because now we're in development. The next step is to actually restore the czar. To do that, we want to launch the ShareWell System Restore utility. The next step is to select the, the czar file that was exported previously. We see this is an export production this is the file that we, res that we exported in a previous video. Since we have an existing connection called ShareWell Dev, we're going to restore the czar into our dev environment. Select ShareWell Dev and click OK. The delete existing tables ensures that we have an exact copy of everything that was done in production. And that's going to be now restored to the ShareWell Dev database. Once you're ready, click Import. The System Restore window opens up and requires you to log in. It confirms we want to overwrite the entire current system, so click Yes. This import only took 22 seconds to complete. Depending on the size of the czar, it may take a few minutes or even up to an hour, depending on how much data is actually being re-imported or restored to the development server. The next step is to launch the orange pill and select the ShareWell dev server that we just restored over. Now that we've logged into our development environment, the first thing we need to do is go into Settings, open Stored Values Manager, and ensure that our system is set to development. The current system stored value is where we make this change. As you can see, this was set to production because we took a czar earlier of our production server. We want to change this to dev and click OK. Now we can click, click Close and then close out of the orange pill. A few other notes. We want to make sure that the database that we're now we're associating ShareWell with is going to be the development database. So under Server, we want to select Application Server click Configure, and here we are, ShareWell Demo. This is still pointing to our production database. We want to select the, dem the dev one. Once we select ShareWell Dev, click OK. It's going to prompt that we need to restart the server. Click Yes. This means that anyone that's currently logged in is going to be disconnected. Yes, we want that to happen. Next, we need to select the Automation Process Server. And 
ensure this is connected to our dev database, and click OK. We don't necessarily need to start this just yet. However, there's one last step we need to do, and if we're modifying the portal at all in the dev environment, we need to make sure that we select the correct browser. Open up the orange pill, edit the ShareWell browser database, and ensure it's pointed to ShareWell dev. As you notice, it's still connected to production. Once we select the correct database, click Next. And when we get to the end of the process, we want to test the connection to ensure that it works successfully. Once we're done, click Finish. And now we can log back into our orange pill. As you see, ShareWell Dev is still highlighted, so we click OK and log in. On the top of your screen, you can see that we're in the ShareWell Dev database. This means any changes will not affect production. Thank you for watching the video. Once again, this is Robert with Beyond 20.